Blackwater and, and nature scapes so, and natural water and stuff like that is what I'm interested in. Not really bright and colourful and uh, super intense. So yeah, thank you for having me on. Alright, hey, it's Cam here from the Fish Room and I am based in Nelson, up the South Island of beautiful New Zealand. Uh, basically we deal with aquatics and aquariums and, and tropical fish and stuff like that and my goal with both my YouTube channel and my business is to help you keep beautiful aquariums. Uh, currently not a heck of a lot. I've got a bunch of angel fish and some fancy plecos and stuff behind me. Uh, I've got a tank with various tetras and I have at the moment a uh, blackwater aquarium based around sort of South East Asia with some raspberries, um, some coolie loaches and I'm hoping very soon to get hold of some chocolate garamis. <laughs> I would like to keep the Queen Arabesque Pleco again. Um, I would like to keep some Zebra Plecos again. I would like to keep some Sunshine Plecos again. And I would like to keep some Cactus Plecos again. Yep, they're probably up. Those four are up there on the list of things that I want to keep again. Um, auto Lamp Compressors of all sorts of species are right up there as well on that list. Um, both calvis and comps, I just said that, but yeah, auto lamps. Um, Shelleys would be up there, Lupii will be up there. I really regret selling my Frontosa colony that I had. I had to sell that when I started up the shop because I needed the funds. I would love to get that going again. Something that I've never kept that I would like to keep is Trophius Icola. Um, I would really like to do a massive, and I mean a massive shoal of Cardinal Tetras, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred or something stupid like that. I think would look absolutely amazing. So that's kind of something I'd like to do. Most stressful fish story would have to be the day when my employee rang me to tell me that she'd accidentally left the cold water taps on in our shop and overnight all the tanks had had water changes going on throughout the evening in the middle of winter and that my whole shop of aquarium fish were no longer alive. So that was probably the most stressful time I've been through within within the hobby. Personally, I don't really consider myself a fish tuber, to be completely honest. Um, I'm just a dude that was running a local fish shop and sort of got onto YouTube for um, originally marketing reasons and, and just to spread the love of the hobby. This one I also find a little hard to answer because I don't watch a heck of a lot of YouTube myself. Um, I do quite like Mark from Mark's Aquatics, which sounds quite weird to say because I always said it Aquatics. Uh, but I quite like him, I like uh, the way he explains stuff. And Ivan, I can't quite pronounce his last name, but it starts with M. He does a lot of natural stuff. Um, a lot of biotopes and scapes and goes out into the wild and, and sort of videos fish and that sort of stuff which I really really enjoy so um, Ivan and Mark would be my two two preferred that I like to watch when I get a chance
probably the thing that I said the most within the shop when we had it was you're not keeping fish, you're keeping water. If you're looking after your water, your fish will look after you basically. So as long as you've got good, good water, generally speaking, your fish will be okay. Obviously there's exceptions to the rules, but generally speaking, if, if you're looking after your water, your fish are looking after you. That's not right. If you're looking after your water, your fish will look after you. Hey, I did say right. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think the idea of what's happening here is quite a cool one, so hopefully everyone enjoys the video that's being done at the moment. Um, and if you are interested in checking out what we do here at the Fish Room, um, just search us up on YouTube, we're also on Facebook and whatnot. Um, do plenty of trips out to other people's houses and shops and, and little tips and tricks and some things that I'm playing around with breeding, so if it sounds a bit like you, get amongst it and subscribe to us.